Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 157. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook, Magic Tricks 155 to 167. Hey, in this trick here, we want to see how to do conditional formatting for just part of a table. We have a column here, and these are the IDs. And in this cell, I have AAZ034, and that part of the table is highlighted. If I change it, I want to then highlight that part. If I change it to this one, I want to highlight that part. So let's see how to do that. All right, now first I want to add data validation to this cell based on this little list here. I'm going to go to uh, data in 2007, and then right here is data. It's never wide enough. Data, data validation. In 2003, you go to the data menu and then data validation. The keyboard shortcut that works on both versions is Alt D L D L. I'm going to go to uh, allow, and I don't want to allow any value. I want list. I want a list. I'm going to hit tab, and then the source. I'm simply going to highlight. Whenever you see. See that little, that's a collapse. Anytime you see that, you know uh, you can get cell references. And then click OK. Now, I want to select uh, this one. Hey, it didn't highlight. Well, let's see how to do that. We're going to highlight the whole table in with um, conditional formatting. you got to be sure to look at where the active cell is when you're doing a block of data like this. That's the active cell. So when we build our true false formula, it'll be as if we st build it here, copy it down, and over. Now, in 2007, you have to go to the Home ribbon, and it's under Styles, Conditional Formatting, and then New Rule down here. In 2003, you go to uh, format menu and then conditional formatting. Now I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt O D. Alt O D. New rule. Now in 2007 you click here for use a formula. In 2003 you click on the first text box and point to is formula. And our is formula will be pretty straightforward. We're going to ask it is this cell right here and notice we need to lock it going across here, but not going down. So we need to hit the F4 key twice. So the dollar fund's in front of the B, but not the 14. And then we need to say, is that equal to? Is it equal to this cell H14 locked in all directions? That's it, true or false. And this will um, put color across the rows, but only when there is a match in the first column. Now I'm going to click Format here. I'm going to add some format. Maybe some uh, fill, which used to say pattern. So I'm going to select purple. And then font color, I'm going to select uh, that white. And then click OK, click OK, click OK. And sure enough, there now we can highlight just part of the table. All right, when we come back, we'll use the same little setup for trick 158. See you next video.